guys the not so erudite president sunday situation for those of you who were paying attention to that um it's uh <laughs> it's gotten even more embarrassing um so uh not so erudite and and nick were like uh, her husband were like threatening legal action and all this shit and uh kidology you guys remember kidology apparently kidology is like a good friends with not so erudite and um and uh kidology was gonna debate president sunday about his own doxing um but then she backed out at the last minute like i can just let me just show you this this is just so funny it's so pathetic guys kidology has got to be one of the cringiest people we've ever encountered on this show i don't know what the fuck we didn't even talk oh my god maybe we should talk about that maybe we should talk about the kidology uh thread here you go ready here we go let's just watch this real quick I've decided to do a signature President Sunday move and run from this Sunday's debate, re not so erudite. My friendship with Kyla is 101% more important and my priority. I want to do everything to help her, and this is the way. I apologize for the inconvenience I'm causing to President Sunday in the Crucible. If there's anything else you'd like to debate that doesn't involve not so erudite or any reference to her in the situation, I'm game. Guys, when you're running from the debate out of the blue that you wanted to have, when you ask somebody who's been doxxed to have a debate and then you run away, that's not a signature President Sunday move. That's a signature you move. That's a signature kidology move. That's... Oh my God. What is Brianna Wu doing here? Oh, Brianna Wu. Brianna Wu is like a super not so erudite defender. I don't get it. I don't understand. Um, I don't have any personal, like, I don't have any personal beef with Brianna Wu, but for some reason, Brianna Wu, uh, n like, not only did Brianna Wu, like, misrepresent the situation in, in the first place, with which President Sunday has pointed out multiple times, uh, Brianna Wu got really mad at President Sunday and then, mi and then, con and then misquoted, miscited what, at not so erudite's degree was B brianna Wu was on twitter and was like not so erudite has a graduate degree and it's like no she doesn't that's like the core of the problem so i i don't understand what her angle is uh here uh and i don't really get it but yeah uh brianna Wu is is a not so erudite uh friend Okay, I will say Doe's tweet here is really funny. One day I hope to have a friendship that's so important to me that I look past my friends repeat lies about their credentials so that they can scalp vulnerable, peop vulnerable people in a way that's consistent with breaking ethical guidelines established by the people with credential credentials my, friends li my friend lies about. I do like that you recognize trying to defend her defenseless claims would only hurt her and make her lo look much worse. That's a fun side admission within this post. Literally true, though. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I, 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 I want to help her. The best thing I can do is make sure that I don't make her look any worse than she already does. It is true that Kidology would absolutely have made Not So Erudite look worse. I just find it really funny to try and be like, I'm actually literally running away from a debate, but I'm going to try and say that it's President Sunday's fault, that I'm pulling a President Sunday when I run away from a debate that I asked for in the first place. How does Doe constantly wipe the floor with people on Twitter? The reason is that Doe very, Doe very carefully chooses her battles and is never super, super mean about it. Uh, Doe just kind of very matter-of-factly uh, states what her issue is, and that's how it happens. That's why, that's why it's so good on Twitter. They were going to debate on the Crucible, the debate platform with that with a hanging tree and a noose. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are Kidology and Not So Erudite Nazis? Um, no, but you know how it goes with liberals.
Well, actually, I don't know. I don't think that Kidology is a Nazi, but Kidology certainly doesn't take Nazism very seriously, in my opinion. Also, President Sunday, uh, President Sunday posted this, and I gotta say, we we gotta react to this because this made me laugh. Uh, let me just real quick, real quick. This is a video that was posted by Not So Erudite. This is an actual short from Not So Erudite. Let's just enjoy it real quick. Go to fucking church. The title of this, by the way, is Black Pilled Men. Sorry, I shouldn't be shouting. No sleeping. All these guys are fucking complaining about dating apps and all this shit. Go to church. All of these beautiful, kind virgins are at church. Why aren't you at church? I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be filled with a whole bunch of cute girls who have never been told they're pretty in their life because most men at church are fucking beta losers who are afraid of women and never compliment them because they're afraid that if they compliment them, God might smite them for being dirty, okay? Go to church. They don't even have to believe this shit, okay? Half the time, they'll flirt to convert you, okay? Go to fucking Yeah, the best thing you can do is tell all of the blacks, the black pilled Elliot Roger pilled incels to go into a Christian church to try and predate on the women there because the because the women there are used to hanging out with beta males who don't compliment them um, because they're afraid of God, which um, I'm just going to be honest. It is bad. Women don't have a good time in most churches, which is kind of weird. Again, all of this is so fucking weird. It all comes off as like, um, doesn't it come off as just like fraudulent? Like, like you're sort of like ironically distancing yourself from Christianity. Just remember, not so erudite is a Christian. Not so erudite's entire career up to this point was through Christian, uh, faith mental health organizations so i just find it very weird to like pretend that you're distancing yourself from christianity when you're literally telling people to go to church and then also that you frame this as like good for the girls at the church when you're telling these um black pilled black pilled incels which by the way just so we're clear the black pill is when you've given up on women when you believe that there is no hope that women are basically uh, a, a separate race that you cannot engage with that women will never love you and that uh, there's no point in even trying that's what the black pill is the black pill is literally Elliot Rogers shit and she's like yeah go to church they'll um go to church and farm up these desperate women man it's one of the weirdest shits I've ever seen and this is still on her channel like you can I didn't have to archive this it's just posted on her channel Remember, you can get mental health services from Not So Erudite, the brand that tells black pilled Elliot Rogers to go to church to scoop up vulnerable women, vulnerable virgins uh, who have d devastated self esteem. Incredible advice and an incredible, incredible opinion of both women and men. Man, Not So Erudite is whoo boy. Oh boy, my god. Oh, I want yeah, actually I wonder what the comments are like. Can we look at the comments on there? I would love to see what the comments are like. Toxic advice to be honest. That's from 5 months ago. I worked at a church for the past five years and often did substitute work at various churches around town. They are absolutely not filled with attractive young single women. I don't think it would be ethical for me to hit on any of the women there, but I never wish that I could. In my experience, people that go to churches are old single people whose partners have passed away. Women with their husbands or boyfriends. I have never encountered a woman in my age group that goes to church without a partner already. 
Pastors, oh yeah, and this is the really, this is a real hard hit. Pastors literally put out face memos on my Facebook that they have been getting complaints from women at their church that men keep flirting with them. Women at my at church, in my experience, are looking for a bailout after they've been through loads of guys or they're single moms, usually both. The truth is, you're either attractive enough that you can approach or get approached by women. You date way under your looks by uh, a level by three points or you just stop and focus on other things. Man, they're taking this advice really well, guys. Man, everybody is, uh, everybody is loving this advice. <laughs> oh, shit! The black pillars have showed up! Why is it always the same old gender roles? The burden is always placed on men instead of holding women accountable for their misandry. Oh, the black pillars have showed up. I go to church. It never helped with even finding male friends. It was just a big waste of time. And I just go now because it's something to do to waste my time. <laughs> oh, no. Here's another one. The only young single women in church are in youth groups for teenagers. Anything past that are married, divorced, or widowed. There isn't a surplus of single women in their 20s at church, especially when you're encouraged by people and Christianity to marry young. Let me tell you something. I went to a lot of church when I was younger, and let me just tell you, there was a massive culture of get married by the moment that you hit 18. There was this extreme culture where women were pressured constantly um, to marry the moment they turned 18 and to have kids by the time they were 20. It is like, that is like, that is the youth culture in most uh, Christian, like Christian churches that are serious about Christianity. Now, it might be true that there are some like chiller uh, uh, congregations, um, but chill congregations aren't exactly like where all the Zoomers are going these days. Just so you guys know, um, yeah. What what incredible advice. Here's another one. It's amazing how confidently you give this god-awful advice. If you're not religious, don't look for women at church. You will likely be hugely incompatible. The image of an atheist, non-religious person going to church just to creep on virgin Christians is absolutely hilarious. Literally every single side of this conversation is dunking on her because it's the stupidest take I've ever heard. No, guys, let, here's a hot take. Don't if you are a black-pilled incel, do not go predate on virgin uh, women at church uh, because you think you can get into their pants because uh, uh, beta men don't hit on them. Secondly, women at church are constantly hit on. No, beta men in churches aren't afraid of God smiting them. That's just not how their type of, of uh, that's not how Christianity works. Christianity puts the guilt on women for wanting men at all. Men are supposed to go after women. In every single church I've ever been at, the patriarchal slant was unbelievably present. It's even in the fucking text of the Bible. So no, do not black pilled men. Get therapy seriously. Take it seriously. Talk to someone and work through your misogyny. And then... And then, once you start realizing that not all women hate you, that there are actual reasons why people don't just immediately want to drop their pants to fuck you, uh, then you can start maybe starting to build healthy relationships. But you should absolutely not go virgin hunting at church. That's some of the worst advice I've ever... I mean, I'm sorry, can we just, can we just listen to this again? Go to fucking church! Sorry, I shouldn't be shy. <laughs> I'm sleeping. All these guys are fucking complaining about dating apps and all this shit. Go to church. All of these beautiful, kind virgins are at church. Who are these people? Where did she get these photos? And she did she get their did she get their permission to describe them as beautiful, kind virgins and make them the targets of weird black pilled Elliot Rogers? Why aren't you at church? I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be filled with a whole bunch of cute girls who have never been told they're pretty in their life because most men at church are fucking beta losers who are afraid of women and never compliment them because they're afraid that if they compliment them, God might smite them for being dirty, okay? Go to church. You don't even have to believe this shit, okay? Half the time, they'll flirt to convert you, okay? Go to fucking church. No, guys, the men who are, the, the men who feel bad about being dirty at church are, are generally bisexual or gay men. 
uh, uh, straight men are not are not made to feel dirty outside of like uh, the Catholic clergy. Okay. Uh, everywhere else, there is a machismo patriarchal culture that encourages them to constantly be take the first step, and they're not made to feel dirty. It's women, and it's gay, it's gay people, it's trans people, it's bisexuals who are made to feel dirty. Those are the people who are constantly slammed upon. Not fucking random dudes. I'm sorry, that's just not reality. It's not fucking reality. Just everything about this is so wrong. God, these comments are so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, let's go to church. Everyone knows that's where all the 18 to 24 year olds love to hang out. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, more black pillars. Here we go. Here's another black pillars. Okay, here we go. Um, Church girls, once they get out of their parents' house, are the most wild girls out there. I'm talking 10 to 20 guys in rotation, two to three guy guys a day. But these girls would have stopped going to church by then. Man, you really nailed it. You really nailed it. They're super convinced by your argument. The black pillars who are convinced that women, that these girls are fucking two to three guys a day, every single day, who have 10 to 20 boyfriends on rotation. First of all, uh, please consider living in a different fantasy world. The Lord of the Rings is right there. There's hobbits, there's dragons, there's fucking wizards, there's a big flaming eye. Please choose a better fantasy universe than the one where you think uh, tend to, that every girl who went to church once in her early 20s is fucking tw 10 to 20 guys in rotation, two to three fucks per day. Dude, come on. For real. Come on. Let's 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 get real here. You could you could have a magic ring for that price, okay? You could have a you could have Gondor and Ents for that price, okay? Here's another great comment. Nope! It's actually, look, I'm not kidding you. It's actually nope with all of those. Nope! Don't be coming for us church ladies if you ain't about godly values. You might be mad when we don't do certain things. The evil is at work in this woman. You couldn't be more wrong on this one. Oh, God. Churches are full of couples and old people. They aren't full of young, cute women. I'm a Catholic and I was forced to go to church for over half my life. Oh my God. I sure hope the red pillars won't go to church uh, uh, though because they, they may do huge harm on the long run to those girls. True, true. You forgot that the pastor sleeps with them, so it's not a place I would advise anyone to go. Oof, okay, that's also true. Woo! Yeah, the church ladies... Wait, maybe... Hold on a second, everybody! The church ladies are teaming up with the black pillars, but in the opposite direction. The church ladies are like, do not come here, and the black pillars are like, we will not go there. So this video is just wrong in every single way. Oh, no. Oh. Man, what the hell is this... What the hell is what the hell is not so erudite's goal? What is her aim in the world? Oh my god. I guess it's to convince Elliot Roger types to go to church and predate on the virginal women there. Oh, oh and to work with doxers. Maybe there just is no goal. She might actually just be duller than a rock. Well, I, I do think that the goal is ultimately to funnel vulnerable people in the in the debate space into her $50 per Google search service. I mean, bro, can you imagine if your job was Googling for 50 bucks a pop from people who are like having a mental health crisis? I mean, it would make me sick personally, but I guess if you're if you're if you if you can swallow the uh if you can swallow the guilt from that, if you've gotten really good at like repressing the guilt necessary, I guess that's a decent income stream. I don't know. Then again, <laughs> how many people are, how many fucking people are, 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 are looking for that service at 50 bucks a pop? I don't know. 
I've got it. She's going to say the craziest shit like, hey, go to church to find women. Then they'll only be told they're abominations. Then they go back to her to help find therapy. Seems a bit roundabout. Maybe just sell them the therapy in the first place. Mixed Dizzy says it's pandering to incels to grift a career from lonely men, in my opinion. Yeah, maybe. Is that the type of views that, is that the type of stuff that's on her channel? Is that the type of people who watch her channel? I guess I haven't really ever looked at the comments of her, uh, of her videos. Sure, so I'll just again. We watched some of her TikToks and they were always basically, they were always basically like, uh, incel apologia. But then again, she also seems to do a bit of like red pill debunking, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, that was just a small update to the not so erudite President Sunday situation that also happened to branch into one of the funniest videos I've seen in a while. Uh, no, incels, black pill incels should not go to church to try and find the virgins there. Uh, definitely not because, uh, the overlap between the black pill incel community and the pedophile community is like almost a perfect circle. Uh, definitely no, not a good idea. Uh, trust me, churches don't need any more help, uh, facilitating pedophilia. Uh, yeah. So that's all there is to say it. That's all there is. Kidology's channel is a lot of reaching out to incels too. Yeah, but okay, guys, I've seen a couple of Kidology videos now and all of Kidology's videos are basically, there are two extremes. They're both very extreme and I don't like either of the extremes. They're very extreme. Now I'm going to cite only turf documents and turf women. But there are two extremes, and they are both very bad and very extreme. Anyway, here's more citations from TERFs. That's basically the entire channel. I don't know a lot about her, but is she basically like religious destiny with like a, a fake degree? Well, she has a di she has a diploma. It's just not in it's not in how she presents. Like her videos, not so erudite's videos, are all basically. She basically sells the idea that she's like a, a psychiatrist or a, a, it's kind of got like a Dr. K, like light type approach, but, but there is a religious bent to it. There is a, a like incel apologia bent to it where it's not like, oh, the incels are right, but it's more like, well, you know, no, men do have a hard time. Definitely. But don't be an incel. You should be a fan of me instead. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know if it works. And then again, uh, we're, we're back on not so erudite because we're kind of like blurring these things together because apparently, apparently they've done videos together, Kidology and not so erudite, which, uh, you couldn't pay me to watch. So <laughs> cracker, Dr. K. <laughs> oh my God. No. Oh man. Dust Aeon says, I wish Vosh would watch a Sunday video about her because he gave her a big platform. She interviewed him once and it was so weird. Like first she lied again as always about her psychological background, but she wanted to LARP a therapy session and later was like, why are you so mad and mean to my little Steven? That's fucking weird. That's really fucking weird. All right, I'll, I'll take a look at that in a bit, uh, 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 Mr. Krabs. Bino the amoeba. Wait, Demon Mama, is there an issue with Dr. K? I don't have a personal issue with Dr. K. I was talking about the presentation style, which is like Dr. K, like his videos are like, um, they're all like psychology focused. They're all like self-help focused, but they're like, uh, they're all like very much like, here's the techniques you can use to have better mental health. But then like, that's kind of like not so erudite kind of does that, but she's got like one foot in the like Dr. K, like psychological analysis thing, even though she's not even the same level of credentials or anything that Dr. K is. And then the other foot in just like raw drama and r destiny react, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, I don't personally know enough about Dr. K to have problems with him. Um, I know there are a bunch of people who have critiques of him, um, specifically that, uh, he rides the line between mental health and entertainment, which from what I can tell, there's some truth to that. 
Uh, and it's a little weird that he does like pseudo therapy live on a live stream with people. I do find that very weird, but I don't know enough to be able to say anything definitive. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know enough. And I don't know if he's like uh, really super problematic about it or what. It's just I will say that from an, from an outside perspective, it looks somewhat sus. OK, hold on. There's a new video. There's a, we, one more, one more thing in the not so erudite Sunday drama. One more, okay, everybody, here we go. One more. Bro, you look like you've never worked a day of labor in your life. You got a glass jaw and a thin neck. Why are you talking about masculinity? That's me. You're both pathetic excuses for men. And if we lived in a better day and age, I challenge you both to duels and end both your lives. You didn't even grow. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, dude, no. Oh god. <laughs> In a better day and age, I challenge you both to duels and end both your lives. You didn't even grow. Oh, oh, bro. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my man. What? Why do the, the oddest people choose to pick weird fights on the internet, don't they? What a, what a clip to have of you on the internet. I mean, hey. I guess it takes a certain level of courage to post workout videos when you could pass out and shit your pants on camera. Although I, I must disclaim, I don't know for sure. I, I don't know for sure if, if he shit his pants. I'm just, that's just an educated guess on my part, okay? Um. <laughs> oh my God. I'll have you know, I, you have a glass jaw. Incredible, incredible, truly the, the, the apex of masculinity on display here. Oh my God. Oh my God. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Oh yeah. If you guys are having fun uh, with this extremely goofy drama coverage, uh, pr press like and make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I would love to have you back for all of my other stuff that I do. I do tons of stuff. And most of it, believe it or not, is, uh, is, is not as silly as this. And yet somehow is more funny even than this. So there you go. Press, uh, press like, press subscribe and, uh, keep supporting the show. Oh my God.